Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to show you how to prove EF is congruent to KJ. So let's look what we have here. This looks like a problem that asks us to uh, prove that this triangle EFD is congruent to this triangle KJD, but it's not asking us to prove that. It's proving, asking us to prove that this side is congruent to this side. Well, let's use what we know um, about, well, our initial thoughts on this. Our initial thoughts were prove this triangle is congruent to this triangle. So let's let's see what we know about congruent triangles. Congruent triangles, there's two facts. Fact number one is that all sides are congruent and all angles are congruent. Okay? All triangle for congruent triangles, all sides are congruent and all angles are congruent. Next facts, we know we know five facts. We know five shortcuts about congruent triangles while we're at that. So we have side, side, side congruency, side, angle, side congruency, uh, angle, side, angle congruency, angle, angle, side congruency, and H L congruency. <sighs> Those five. Um, so let's use this right here to get this right here because this right here looked like it was asking to prove this right here. Okay, so um, let's let's prove it. Let's let's prove that these two triangles are congruent by doing a little flow chart right here. So let's go um, first thing. Let's see what, what's given here. Um, even though it doesn't say prove the two triangles, let's prove the two triangles anyway. Uh, ED is congruent to uh, KD and let's make that bubble and the reason given that tick mark is already there uh, next one um, we have this angle is congruent to this angle because of vertical angles so the name of this angle is EDF so angle EDF is congruent to angle KDJ if you just connect the dots we'll get that angle angle K D, J, the reason, vertical angles. All right, and then what else do we have here? Uh, we have this side congruent to this side. We have these angles, vertical angles. Oh, we have this side, it's congruent to this side. So I'm running out of space. So I'm gonna put FD is congruent to JD. And what's the reason? Given, those tick marks are already there. Don't get these wrong. Don't get the givens wrong. They're already there. They're given to you. These are just given points. Um, and so let's look at what we have here. We have a side, a pair of sides. We have a pair of angles and a pair of sides. Uh, it looks like we have a sandwich, an angle sandwich where the S's, the sides, are the piece of bread. So we can now say that triangle EDF is congruent to triangle KDJ, KDJ. Don't forget the arrows, okay? Um, because these three tell us that the triangles are congruent by side, angle, side, side, angle, side, so side, angle, side, congruency. Yeah, look what we just did. You're like, we just wasted a lot of time because let's say to prove this instead of prove that. But let's look at what we know. We know when congruent triangles are congruent, when triangles are congruent, all sides are congruent. So if these two triangles are congruent, all sides have to be congruent. So now we can say that because the two triangles are congruent, all these sides are congruent. Specifically, we can say EF is congruent to KJ. That's cool. That makes sense, right? Because the two triangles are congruent, then all the sides have to con be congruent, so these sides can be congruent. But what's the reason? Well, there's a special reason, uh, and it's called C P C T C. All right, so C P C T C stands for corresponding. Corresponding. All right, a little quicker corresponding parts of congruent, that's the C right there, triangles are 
congruent. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So these right here, EF and JK, are corresponding to each other because um, they're at the same spot, um, same, um, yeah, uh, same spot in the triangle. So, um, so this side is congruent to this side. These are corresponding. These sides are congruent to these sides, and this side is congruent to this side. Same position. That's the word I was looking for. So these are corresponding parts, and they're congruent because. The two triangles are congruent as we just shown right here in this first part of the flow chart. So there you go. Um, if you want, if you have two triangles that are congruent, you could say their parts are congruent after you've proved that they're congruent by C P C T C. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Um, and so, what does that even mean? Like, so it's kind of saying this. Here's my two two markers. These tops are congruent to each other because this entire marker is congruent to this entire marker. So think about it that way. This entire triangle is congruent to this entire triangle, so this piece is congruent to this piece. All right, so let me show you another example. Prove this time angle Q is congruent to angle N. Well, it looks like these two triangles are congruent. Let's prove them. Uh, we have angle M is congruent to angle R, one arc and one arc. It's already there, so the reason given. We have side MP is congruent to segments or side uh, RP. Reason given. Don't get these wrong. These are easy points. These are given points to you. Now, next thing, we can say that angle, this angle right here, is vertical to this angle right here. So that means these have to be congruent. So we can say angle M, P, N, M, P, N, is congruent to angle R, P, Q. Why did we just say they're congruent? Because they're vertical angles. So vertical angles. Looks like we have enough information to come to a conclusion. So let's come to a conclusion. Triangle M P N. So one arc, one tick mark, uh, two arcs. Um, it's congruent to triangle R P Q. So I wanted the same order. So M P N with the arc. To the two arcs to no arc to here arc two arcs no arc what's the reason angle side angle angle side angle so we have a sandwich we have a s a a s a and they're congruent uh, so angle side angle congruency that's cool we done no because the question asked for angle q to prove that angle q is congruent to angle n well what do we know when triangles are congruent, then all the sides are congruent and all the angles are congruent. Are these triangles congruent? Yes. So now we can say that these angles are congruent. So angle Q is congruent to angle N. And for what reason? Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And that's it. That's 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 the reason. Uh, and just quick thing to remember, you can only use the power of the CPCTC only after you've proved that the two triangles are congruent. That's it. Because duh, it's corresponding parts of congruent triangles. You can't use this until you have congruent triangles. So do that first and then use the power of the CPCTC. All right, there you go. That's how you use CPCTC. I can't even say it right, but uh, CPCTC. That's it. Have a great day. Let me see.